everyone, this is Larry with Today I Feel Like. A couple of months ago, I was looking over my finances and I realized I was paying a crap ton of money every month for my streaming services. I think I was paying like $73 or something like that. So I wanted to see how many of these streaming services I can get for free because, well, honestly, I was thinking about canceling the whole lot of them and it turned out that I can get almost all of my streaming services absolutely free using the credit cards and other services that I already have. So let me show you how I get pretty much all of my streaming services for free. All right, let's go ahead and jump right into the computer so I can show you the first place where I save a lot of money and get my streaming services for free. And that is actually with T-Mobile because I have my personal cell phone service through T-Mobile. So here we can see on the T-Mobile website that these are some of the services you can get for free. You're gonna be able to get Apple TV Plus, Netflix, Hulu. You're gonna be able to get Sirius XM Streaming, Pandora Premium, VIX Premium, and MLB TV. Now let's just go ahead and add up the services that I actually use. Now there's some services on there that could save more money, save me more money if I actually used them, but since I don't use them, I'm not gonna count them in with this. But let's go ahead and just add up the services that I actually do use on here, and I'll show you how much they cost. So we'll start off here with Netflix, and we can see they have the lowest tier, which is Netflix with ads, which is $6.99, and I believe that is the, the tier that you get for free, and anything you want above that, you just simply have to pay the difference. So we're gonna start off with $6.99. Now the next one here is going to be Hulu, and Hulu we can see has the same. It's gonna have a ad supported tier that is gonna be $7.99 a month, so we're gonna go ahead and do $7.99. Now the next one here is going to be Apple TV Plus, and we'll see there that one's gonna be $9.99 a month, so we'll go ahead and do $9.99 a month, and we're already at $24.97, so just about 25 bucks a month that we're saving already just from T-Mobile. But I also have the MLB TV, and if we come over here and look, we'll see that MLB TV is $29.99 a month. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add that in. So that's $29.99 a month. So just with T-Mobile, we're saving already $54.96. $54. Dollars and 96 because we're saving almost $55 a month just from having T-Mobile service. So now I don't know if you use the same streaming services that I do, but if you do, switching to T-Mobile might actually be worth the money. Even if you have to pay just a little bit more from what you're currently paying with your service, it might actually work out in your favor when you factor in these other discounts. Now, if you look at this for an annual basis, if you're talking about $149 a year, so you could factor that a little bit differently. And I believe you can do the same with some of these other services too. If you wanted to add in an annual plan, it could be $79.99. So things could be a little bit cheaper if you want to do the annual plan. But since I'm going month to month, we're gonna go ahead and keep it month to month. Now, I do save some money using my credit cards as well and I have an American Express card, so let me jump into American Express and show you some ways you can save there as well. So here we are on the American Express site, and American Express will actually give you a $240 digital entertainment credit every year. So they basically will wipe out $2, $20, excuse me, every month for different services. You can use Disney+, Plus, you can use ESPN+, Plus, Hulu, or the bundle, you can also get a, uh, a subscription to the New York Times, to Peacock TV, and to the, Wash, uh, the Wall Street Journal. Now, they used, to have a, they used to have it where you can get Sirius XM radio uh, and save on that as well, which I've been using, but as of May 8th, I believe they're going to actually stop that. Now, I don't know if they're gonna add a different service in place of Sirius XM radio, but I've been using the Sirius XM radio uh, benefit for a while now. So here we are on the Disney Plus site, and we can see that Disney Plus actually offers two different plans for just Disney alone. You get either 
a $7.99 plan with ads or $13.99 a month without ads. Now I have the premium subscription that uh, doesn't have any ads. And so I'm gonna go ahead and add on the $13.99 um, a month. So I'll add that on there. So now with my, uh, with my American Express card, I'm actually saving $68.95 a month just from using the benefits of services and credit cards that I already have. So, but let's keep it going because there's still some more savings to be had. So back here on the Walmart, uh, excuse me, on the uh, American Express site, we can see that you get a free Walmart Plus monthly membership credit. And basically what that means is if you sign up for Walmart Plus, the cost is like $12.95 a month. All you do is sign up for Walmart Plus. When it shows up on your American Express uh, bill, they give you an automatic bill credit so you're not actually ever paying for your Walmart Plus subscription. But here you go. This is the thing that's great about this. If we look here at the Walmart Plus um, the Walmart Plus page here where it says enjoy your complimentary plus membership with, uh, with your platinum card. This is the great thing. As we scroll down, we'll see if you are a member of Walmart Plus, you get free streaming with Paramount Plus. That's right, you get the Paramount Plus streaming service absolutely free just for being a member of Walmart Plus and you get to be a member of Walmart Plus for free if you have an American Express Platinum card which I do. So let's go see how much the Platinum, I mean, excuse me, the Paramount Plus service cost. So here we can see that the Paramount Plus Essentials is going to be $5.99 a month or $59.99 a year. And since I do monthly, I'm gonna go ahead and add this in there at $5.99. So we're up to saving $74.94 a month right now, just using the services again that I already have available to me but there's still more. Let's keep it going. Now here is another cool thing. If you have a Chase credit card and I have a Chase credit card, you can actually get 12 months free or six months free or three months free of Instacart Plus. Now Instacart Plus is cool, not only because does it allow you to just log in and have people do your shopping and do all the delivery and stuff for free because you're paying for that with your Instacart Plus subscription, but because you have a Chase credit card, they're actually giving you that Instacart Plus service free. You don't have to worry about paying for it. And if you're a member of Instacart Plus, you actually get a benefit of getting Peacock for free, that's right. You're gonna get Peacock TV absolutely free as part of your Instacart subscription. It's just super easy, that's it. You just have to go ahead and make sure everything is linked up and you are good to go. Now, Peacock TV is going to be about $5.99 a month, but let me just double check. So here we have it, we have the Peacock TV service right here. The premium service is $5.99 a month. So I'm gonna go ahead and just add that in there, $5.99. So we're at $80.93 a month of savings already just using the credit cards and services I already have available to you. Now there's one last streaming service that I actually use, which is Amazon Prime. Now we can see here from the Amazon uh, Prime membership fee page that you can get a Prime membership at $14.99 a month or $139 a year, or if you just want Prime video, you can get it at $8.99 per month. So they also have student pricing on here as well, but since I'm long removed from being a student, that's not gonna apply to me. Now. Also, if you want just the Prime shipping only plan, which you know currently is invitation only, it's $14.99 per month. Now, that membership doesn't really make much sense because at $14.99 a month, you're talking about $179 a year. I mean, for that price, you might as well just go ahead and get the annual subscription and have the Prime video included with your uh, subscription. Now. Let's just go ahead and look this up. Let's break this out. So I am paying for my Prime, but I would pay for Prime anyways, even if I wasn't paying this, even if I didn't get Prime video, I would still pay this so that I can get my free shipping. But since I am getting the video and they price it at $8.99 per month, I'm gonna go ahead and add this in. So let's go ahead and add in $8.99 per month. And let's hit that. It looks like I'm now saving 
$89.92 a month on all of my streaming services that I'm getting for free using the services that I already pay for and already have. If I times that by 12, we're gonna see that Oops, let me get this right. Let me do that. <laughs> let me just let me just round it to $89. We'll just do 89 times 12. I'm saving over $1000 a year on my streaming services just by using the the services that I already have by digging in and seeing the different perks that are available to me. And yeah, that's a lot of money to save throughout the year. So, that's how I'm getting all of my streaming services for free. All right, everyone, well, there you go. That is it. That is how you too can get your streaming services for free. Now, mind you, they may not all apply to you. All these methods may not apply to you. You may not have the same credit cards that I do, or you may not have the same cell phone carrier that I do. You may have a carrier that offers a different streaming benefit, or you may have credit cards that offer a different streaming benefit than, than mine. So you just have to go and dig into those perks a little bit. But as you can see, you can save a considerable amount of money of money every month by trying to find out what perks are available to you from the services that you already have and already pay for or just get for free through other uh, through other means like your credit cards and sometimes you can stack those benefits like I've been able to stack benefits by getting you know the Walmart plus service for free and then getting free Paramount plus TV service and then getting Instacart service for free and then getting Peacock TV service free through them so there's lots and lots of ways to actually get free service so there you go. I think it's fantastic, saves a ton of money, and that $1,000 is gonna go to being used in a much more efficient and better way and a more enjoyable way in my life than just paying some services that I can get for free. So, all right, I'm gonna leave links to, well, everything that I can think of down below in the video description so that you can check it out. I'm also gonna leave links to my Amazon page and my social media contacts so you can reach me elsewhere, and I hope you enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to this channel and follow me on Instagram. And I am Larry with Today I Feel Like. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace. <laughs>